I want to do something to improve the dust collection on this bandsaw. This is a Grizzly G0513X. I bought this secondhand nine years ago, but I just looked at their website and they still have like four different variations on this. They've got the 513, they got the X2, they got the Extreme, they got the Anniversary Series. And they all, I looked at, and most of them still seem to have the same kind of dust collection set up. I'm not here to bash Grizzly. I mean, it's a great saw, I love it. It's just instead of 80%, I'd like to get the dust collection more like 100%, or as close as I can get to that. There's two dust ports on this. There's one dust port down low, there's one up top, and I know having two four inch ports going to one four inch line, I'm not getting great suction there. I think th this saw is really meant for big shops with probably bigger dust collectors than I have. On the other hand, I've seen all kinds of hobby shops where they've got really big band saws without necessarily big shops or big dust collectors. <laughs> so if you open up the bottom door, you can see the bottom dust collection here. And you can see the top dust collection here. And, and this is the part that's kind of confusing. So this top dust collector, it, it opens into this little compartment here. Now there's a slot here that the blade passes through. There's a brush for cleaning off the blade. And then up top, there's a little slot there. And I'm like, well, where's this thing getting air from? Like to, to do suction and so yeah, you know, okay, dust is going to get thrown down, thrown down, and that's why there's the, the bottom dust port, but I mean, this area is clear, so you think it's doing something, but like up here on top, it doesn't seem to pull, you know, I, I vacuumed it not that long ago, I'm not sure, but I mean, there's, you know, there's still plenty of sawdust collecting up top, so what are your options? So I thought about getting rid of the bottom suction because if, if you can improve the top suction, do you even need the bottom suction? But I did some experiments and the, the bottom hose actually does a really good job. I'm gonna talk first and then turn on, the, uh, turn on the dust collector. Spread some sawdust here. I'm gonna turn on the dust collector and you're gonna see the sawdust isn't gonna do much. But when you close the door and you seal this bottom cavity, it, uh, it sucks it all up. I'll open the door afterwards and it's all gone. See, it's, it's sucking good, but there's still dust there. That's pretty much all gone. Really what I'm trying to achieve here is I want better dust collection up top here. I want this, this to be cleaner. And this, this is the section where I, I, I'm like, I, I don't think it entirely makes sense. You've got this four inch hose going into this little bitty section here. And I actually, I thought about, you know, maybe I should just drill some more holes in here. First of all, I'm, you know, I'm thinking twice before I do major modifications to one of my expensive tools. But second of all, this is, this is a three eighths inch thick piece of steel here. That's a lot to drill through. And there's probably a reason that it's that thick. You want that strength there. So I don't really want to mess with that. So I'm, I'm looking at two options. One is to take this off completely and build a box up here and put the hose up here. The negative of that is that you have to, uh, if you ever tilt the table, which I basically never do, you'd have to move it. The other negative is that, you know, you have to build a big box up here. The other thing I'm going to try, I'm going to try this simple approach first. I saw somebody who they like, they just built a little box up here to try to focus the airflow. So I'm going to try building a little box here to see if I can constrain the airflow so that basically I'm just going to get better suction through this little slot. Start with the simple approach. And yeah, I'm going to have to make a lot of test cuts to generate some sawdust in the sea. And even then I'm probably going to be guessing a little bit. So I first thought about cardboard, but I thought it would be too flimsy. So I just grabbed some little bits of H inch plywood and I bashed up a little shield, which fits right up in here. So I have a piece, this piece slides in here. This piece goes around and sort of tucks a bit under the trunnion. 
uh, I'm not trying to make it airtight. I'm trying to just sort of constrict the air a bit. I've got a, one of these old computer magnets to hold it on. Try to constrict and focus the air and maybe increase the velocity. You know, I'm getting into engineering areas where I'm on very, very thin ice. So I'm going to clean this up so it's got no vacuum at all out. And I'm going to do some cutting and see what we get. I got it set for a fairly narrow cut. I got some just some scrap pine boards. And I'm just going to run a bunch through to just try and generate some sawdust. Right. That wasn't exactly hundreds of board feet. It was just some. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And that doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah. Well. So I should have done this first. I just ran another handful with nothing. And it actually seems like it's less sawdust. Now what? Back to the drawing board. Okay, the little shield is possibly worse than doing nothing. So next experiment, I took another hose. This is from the, uh, this is from a different feed for the, uh, for the router table. And I've put that right up underneath, right up under the table. I'm trying to simulate what would happen if I moved this dust collector hose up high. So I'm gonna just, I'm just running this one. I'm gonna run this by itself because I'm not really caring about what's in the cabinet right now. Again, I'm just trying to get this as clean as possible. So again, I did a handful of cutting and then I did some resawing and well, there's still some sawdust up there, but I think less. I'm not sure if it's worth the effort though. So that last test, while not perfect, it was still the best results I've had so far. And I'm like, well, I don't really want to build a box up here that you have to take off when you change blades or tilt the table or whatever, but still, it was an improvement. So I was sitting down here starting to try to figure out how I want to do it. When all of a sudden I remembered, it's like, well, hang on. I ran that test with a separate hose running by itself. That's not how you normally run the bandsaw. So I thought, hang on. So I, I, I found a little piece of hose and I hooked it up and I'm going to now do another test where I have the bottom hooked up and this one wedged here underneath the top. And we'll see, because it has to work like that. So again, I resawed a bunch of pine. Let's take a look at the dust. Yeah. Yeah. That's no good. Yeah, that was a disappointment. I, I, there, there was no discernible effect from having the dust collecting hose up there. It might as well just be in the regular location. So yeah, I, th I think I'm throwing in the towel on this one. What, what do you guys, have you got a saw like this? Ha, what have you done to make it better? I mean, short of replacing my dust collector and getting a six inch main line, cause that's just not gonna happen in, in this small shop of mine anytime soon. I'm just gonna be sticking with my four inch lines, so. Again, the sod, the dust collection isn't terrible. I just wanted to make it better. And I'm a little disappointed that I don't seem to be able to do that. So, well guys, I, I hope you learned something. And uh, again, if, if you have some good ideas, drop them down below and we'll have a look. See you next time.